My name's Brian Thompson and I have a company called Porosity Agricultural Services and we specialise in soil moisture monitoring. The reason why you'd use this sort of technology is to take the guesswork out of your irrigations. The soil moisture monitoring systems will actually tell you exactly what's in your profile of moisture and when you get an irrigation or a rainfall event you can see how deep the water's infiltrated and then you can also watch the plants that are using up that water and how quickly they're using it up. This takes the guesswork out of your irrigations and makes sure that you're not putting on too much water which causes water logging and reduces your vegetative growth and obviously causes excessive power bills um, and it also makes sure that you don't um, leave the plants moisture stressed and therefore restricts your vegetative growth by letting them dry out too much. Generally what I recommend to farmers when they ask me what system they should put in is that you do get what you pay for with this technology. Um, the cheaper systems will give you a good level of information but the more expensive systems um, give you more thorough information and you will learn quicker about what's going on in your soil and in your system, your irrigation system, and which essentially will accelerate that process of you being able to make more efficient decisions about your practices. So the key components of any soil moisture monitoring system are the sensors that go on the ground, which are generally either uh, tension based, which gives you a readout of how much force the plant requires to extract moisture from the soil and then you've got a system like what we've used in this site here which is a capacitance probe which has multiple sensors down through the column and gives you a volumetric water content of the soil and that then gives you a readout you can see how quickly the plants are using up the moisture out of the soil and when it rains or when you put irrigation on you can watch that moisture infiltrate down through the profile by those volumetric soil water readings then we generally have a cable run such as this from the probe, whether that's tension or a capacitance based system, cabled back to a telemetry system. In this case here, we've got a NextG telemetry platform which is solar powered. Inside this box here is our uh, NextG modem as well as our data logging and we've also got a rain gauge on this unit here so that we can pick up on the rainfall and uh, if you, well basically the rainfall amounts that are going on to the site and then that telemetry unit there uploads the data to a uh, server which is cloud based and then you can access that information from anywhere from your mobile phone or from a computer. The most important part in terms of uh, ensuring that we get representative data from a soil moisture probe is to ensure that you're using a professional for doing the installations. Um, someone who's got a lot of experience doing this work will make sure that things like the site selection is right in the area that you're irrigating. Um, right down, not only to the area in the pivot, but right down to uh, the exact site selection in relation to where the plants are and the planting density. As we can see this site here, we've got you know, a good um, a good population of our forage brassica and we've got some ryegrass coming through and in this case here we've done a subsurface installation which should ensure that the probe can be sown straight over the top of when they do their annual cropping program um, and as you can see here we've actually buried that probe 20 centimeters below the soil surface with minimal site disturbance as you can see here from the roots that are still alive and, and they will continue to develop throughout that crop for the life of this probe. Most of the soil moisture monitoring systems today are accessed over the internet so you can, means, it means you can actually get all the data on your mobile phone or a computer. So if you look at the graphs um, that are displayed of the soil moisture sensors that are installed. It'll show you the change in moisture content in the soil over time. For example, in these graphs, you can see there is a uh, multiple level capacitance probe showing you the change in water content over that period of the graph. In these specific examples, you can see when there has been an irrigation applied or a rainfall event and how deep that water has infiltrated by looking at those colored lines which show you the red sensor 
or the red line at the top of the graph there is at 20 centimetres, the orange line is at 40 centimetres, the yellow line is at 60, the green line is at 80, the blue line is at 100 centimetres. And so from that information, we can then fine tune our irrigations to make sure that we're putting the water on to the depth of the root zone of the crop and we're not over watering and we're not under watering. So the soil moisture monitoring equipment's been installed today. Um, it's been uh, highly anticipated and, and I'm really looking forward to getting in, um, understanding what's going on below the surface and um, utilising that to, to make a, a, strong, a strong potential in short term and long term. It's going to completely take the guesswork out of my irrigation and my scheduling as well as um, help to not only myself but for everyone else here on farm to understand exactly what's going on um, and, and really and reap the benefits of, of the technology that we've got in place. <music>